Hi boys and girls. For today's art project, I'm going to show you how to paint with bubbles. It's going to be really cool just like this. So let's get the materials that we'll need and I'll show you how to set it up. For this art project, you will need some dish soap, some paint, and I have some lovely purple paint. You will need water, which isn't here, but we'll get some water. You will need a little cup or a little bowl, some straws, a tablespoon measurement, and some cardstock paper. And I actually took one whole sheet of paper and I cut it in half. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make the bubbles. So you can make bubbles by getting one tablespoon of water, and mixing it with two tablespoons of dish soap. Fill it up one time. And then a second time. And I'm going to use a little spoon to stir it up. You can already see it's starting to get a little bubbly. And there you have your bubbles. Okay, so if you want, wash your tablespoon. That's what I just did. And now we're ready to add the paint to our bubble solution. So we are going to add two tablespoons of paint. One. And two. You can use the spoon to Make sure you get every last drop of paint out of the tablespoon. There we go. Put the lid back on your paint so it doesn't spill. And then we will mix up the paint with the bubbles. You can see it's already starting to get bubbly. Once it's nice and mixed together, we are ready to start painting. Now here's where the straw comes in. And I'm going to tell you something that's very important. When we use the straw, we are only going to blow out. Don't suck it in like you do when you drink from a straw. We're only blowing out. And look what we're going to do. We're going to put the straw in the paint and we're going to blow to make lots of bubbles. If you have little bubbles on your paper, just blow them off. And look at the cool patterns that it forms when the bubbles and the paint go on the paper. And once it dries, you can see, you're gonna see all the little rings from the bubbles, from where the bubbles were. Now, I'm only using one color today, but this project looks super nice if you have all different colors. So the way that you would do that is just use the exact same recipe that we used to make this paint, but you would just do it two or three times or four, depending on how many colors you want to make. So you would just use three tablespoons of bubble solution or how we did with one tablespoon of water plus two tablespoons of dish soap mixed together. And then with that, you add two tablespoons of your choice of color of paint. So this is how it looks when you do the bubble painting. 
Okay, friends, I hope you had fun painting with bubbles. Remember, if you want to use more than one color, all you have to do is double or triple the recipe, so that way you can have different colored paints that you use. You just would need different uh, cups to separate them. This is a super fun activity to do outside. If it's a nice day, you can do it in the grass, and that way you get some fresh air and spend some time in nature, and you get to do art. How cool is that? And especially now that it's springtime, it's a beautiful time of the year. All right, so I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.